Geography, where does your story happen? Whether you are building a world from scratch or recreating our world to include fantastical elements, setting plays a unique role in both fantasy and science fiction. In social realism, the world is the one we share. In specfic, it is one of the author's invention, and it allows for wondrous and terrible things. Because the world springs from your imagination, you have a special obligation to reveal it to the reader in ways that are meaningful to the story. That means you have to know a lot more about the world than will ever make it onto the page. For this class, we're just going to scratch the surface. Fantasy and science fiction writers sometimes have multiple binders, or as they are often called, Bibles, just on the geography of their worlds alone. Consider the work we are going to do here a start toward your own fully realized binder about the world you are exploring for your long form work. For the next few weeks, you will take quizzes that are really tools to help you answer key questions about where your story happens and to whom. A good answer to any one question is probably at least 100 words long, but try to stay under 500. Pro tip. In order to do your best work in this class, read the assignment as soon as it's available. Writers do a lot of work in the shower or while they are driving, just mulling over ideas. Give yourself as much time to do that as you can. This week's writing gets us further toward our goal of writing consistent, well-realized fantasy or science fictional worlds. Remember, all of the assignments are designed to help us achieve the course learning goals. None of this is busy work. Let's think for a minute about how important geography is in a few iconic science fiction and fantasy stories. For instance, Star Wars begins on Tatooine, a desert world where Luke Skywalker lives with his aunt and uncle, and it's very remote. This matters. It both explains how Luke and Obi-Wan could remain hidden, and also why Luke wants so badly to leave. And The Wizard of Oz takes place in the magical land of Oz, where Dorothy must follow the yellow brick road to get to the city of Oz to find the wizard. If there had been no yellow brick road, her story would be very different. This week, you will answer a series of questions about the world you are building to help you begin to visualize and populate that world. Go take a look now at the quiz and keep the questions you'll be asked in mind as you read and discuss the professional work for this week. Remember, writers do a lot of work when they are just sitting around daydreaming. The earlier you read the assignment, the more time you have for that work. I look forward to visiting your worlds.